Welcome back to Shems. In this episode, we'll discuss the roof framing and installation process. Roof trusses are the structural components used for the construction of the roof. Trusses are essentially the frame of this roof. For this project, we ordered prefabricated trusses. Prefabricated means they were built off-site in a warehouse. Ordering prefabricated trusses speeds up the building process by a whole lot. While your team is building the walls, another team in the warehouse builds your trusses. And when the roof trusses arrive, you just space them out and install. Roof truss components consist of top cords, a ceiling joist, and the web. The top of the truss is called the apex. The extended part of the top cord is called the overhang. These components are all held together with nail plates. Fun fact. Roof trusses and rafters are not the same thing. Some homes are built using roof trusses and others are built using rafters. We're building our home with trusses. The thing about trusses is that they are heavy and our house is a two-story house so we had our roof trusses lifted with the crane. Depending on the roof, trusses are either set on top of wall plates or they are hung on metal truss hangers. And then the trusses are spaced out. Our trusses were spaced out 16 inches on center. And for this house, we use both wall plates and hangers to set our trusses. These trusses are sitting on hangers and these ones are sitting on wall plates. So once the trusses are set in place, roof outriggers are added where needed for the gable overhang. Then the truss cords are trimmed as needed and the fascia is installed. And we do have a separate video on the fascia topic. So now the sheathing begins. In this process, we cover the trusses with plywood or OSB boards, creating a roof surface. This is also known as roof decking. Then we add a waterproofing layer. This process is known as the underlayment. The underlayment goes directly onto the decking. And the final step is to cover the roof. For this house, we covered the roof with two different types of materials, the traditional roof shingles and black sheet metal. Let's start with the shingles. Step one would be to prepare all materials and get them up on top of the roof. You want to install your drip edges first. Cut some starters from your shingles for your first row and begin laying with a stair step stacking technique from the bottom to the top. Be sure not to nail your shingles too high so that the nails reach the layer below. When installing roof vents, be sure that a part of your vent flashing goes under the top shingles 
and the other part of your flashing goes over the bottom to have proper water flow. And now it's time for the metal roof installation. The roof comes in long sheets of metal that overlap and lock in with a little bit of help from a rubber mallet. Each sheet screws into the deck with screws that come with rubber washers. Be sure to make proper transitions between the shingle and the metal roof. Finish off your flashings and your gable edges and we are done. Thank you for watching Shams and to build your very own custom home go to shams.com.